Welcome to Generation Dan with your host, Cole Clayton. And Kyle what Charlie. the fuck did he just do? Next, we have our guest, Leonardo's Gen- Genetic Marvel, and the Atlas Novak. What the <laughs> fuck did he just do? <laughs> you got her. This is our show now. You've been hijacked. Absolutely. Oh my Ab- god. Absolutely. This is Kyle and uh Cole's show. <laughs> and they're guesting us uh, for the first time. This is that was, I love it. That was the the comedic equivalent of like when you shoot somebody in a in an action movie and they like fly all the way across the room <laughs> into the wall. Yeah. And just like, big oh, blood Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. I didn't know I was gonna do it until halfway through that was so the crazy part. I don't know if we should give the show back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that I didn't plan that far ahead. <laughs> Shouldn't give the show back, much like streaming yeah. services won't give their shows back to one. I mean, and, technically, uh, technically, Cole has already been the N in Dan, and then we're going to bring in Kyle. So it's Generation Dank is what we're turning into. Are you telling me I'm the N-word? You're the N-word. Uh, <laughs> You're my you N-word, were, buddy. <laughs> you, you were where Nick once stood, so I'm it was the, Nick and I'm came over Cole. Yeah. And Cole. Cole, the N-word, yeah. Clayton. That's uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fans out there, I swear to God, if you if you clip that, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> Joe, I'm sure Joey's going to do that. That's yeah, I'm sure he is. Cole just got monetized. The show just stepped up. <laughs> I mean, right. I know. Yeah, if anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, we are, we are talking about uh, as for the thumbnail, I guess, was uh, TV versus streaming because uh, let's be honest, is it's basically become the same thing. So, you guys know that like Netflix doesn't tell people like how many views, how many like the profitability of any of their stuff, right? Like, so yeah, every time they release not. something, they just tell people, like, oh, we're, we're happy with it. And they're like, well, what's like, we're just happy with it, it's fine, like, that's. That that's the they're either happy or unhappy. And interesting well, enough, their uh, stuff gets uh like in the uh what is it the the award ceremonies and all that. I don't know. They don't. They're not. Uh, yeah, they don't. They don't end up in the Grammys and all that shit. Or not the Grammys. Well, so you know, the Emmys, I mean, yeah. Well, because there's there are streaming service like there's a streaming service awards, but like it's basically just one giant TikTok dance. It's a horrible experience from what I've heard. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just people just uh, uh, and you're like what that's not even how you dance weirdo but you know that's fine uh so realistically it's 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 definitely excluded because also too like you have to have a movie in an actual theater uh to and, and have like had a run in a theater for it to qualify for oscars or anything like that too okay right? so i mean i guess that makes right. sense even before streaming services were a thing right and and uh, we were uh, Kyle and I. I was building Lego earlier today. So, but Kyle, we were talking about how like uh, there's the Emmys or daytime Emmys. You're like, yeah. all streaming stuff doesn't gets excluded from that automatically, right? For awards, well, Which, just because like it wasn't around for it would be the equivalent of like you know there's the E dot right yeah. Emmy Grammy Oscar Tony. If the streaming services were like, actually, it's EGOTS now, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, streaming service. No, just no. Like, it's not. Listen, I stopped watching the daytime Emmys after Susan Lucci got her award. I'm like, that's it. That's all I was waiting for. I'm good. 17 years. I waited for 17 years. I got what I wanted and I moved on. Every once in a while, I turn on General Hospital. That's the big thing. I don't understand why that's just televised. I don't give a fuck. Part of my childhood. That's just how that was. But uh, yeah. So it's like, at the, in the beginning, I remember like Netflix started and it was like, okay, no, Netflix started and it was still a delivery service like by mail. So let's mm-hmm. move ahead after that. Yeah. Let's... So about about a decade ago now. So like yeah. they become a streaming service and then about a year later, they're like Mad Men, right? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Whatever was that what they were, they were doing, but yeah, it, uh, and then from there, you're like, it was really good for a while, but then everything became a streaming service and you're like, what's the point of this like it's just absolutely it's ridiculous at this point right well, it's just yeah, too much because they're releasing their licensing their content and then and, and then they're like oh well netflix is making so much why don't we just do what they do and then everybody did it yeah and then they bid against each other to get shows so they inflate the value yeah but on our behalf apparently but then that's why all the streaming services now are more and more expensive and the now they're adding commercials 
which essentially is just going back to cable. Yeah, we, we've gone full circle. And yeah. like that that happens I've noticed with things that are especially like in the 2010s these companies that were made to disrupt um, an industry and they yeah. operated at a loss. So Uber, Airbnb, movie yeah. pass for the brief glowing moment that it existed. I yeah. miss you, original movie pass. Come back to us. Uh, <laughs> DoorDash, all that shit. Yeah. 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 DoorDash. And like it, it was they were made to disrupt an industry. They operate at a loss. And then after they have like everyone using their thing, then they make it worse, which is yeah. there's an actual word for this. It's called enshitification. 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 <laughs> Um, and hit that shit right on the nail. Yeah, yeah. which is a horrible, horrible word because like, like this... a long term relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's the opposite of uh, uh, what is it called when a bunch of white people move in your neighborhood? Gentrification. Uh, Gentrification. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so identification here on this is a Wikipedia article is the pattern of decreasing quality of online platforms that function as two sided markets. Example of identification includes services and products such as Amazon, Facebook, Doodle, uh, Doodle Search, sorry, Twitter, yeah. Bandcamp, Reddit, Uber, and Unity. Well, like I, I talked about this last. So last night I went out with uh, some friends for a uh, birthday and uh, we were talking about how, like, back in if you even went back like 2015 Google. Like, bro, you'd get three letters into what you were searching for, and boom, you had it. Like, it was a, it was a great experience. And now you're like, I, there's nothing. Like, I, I'll have to go to like page two. You're like, do you yeah. remember what page two? You're like, page, you're getting page two page. was a graveyard. If you went to page two, you were either desperate or the thing was so like pedantic that Doodle was like, I don't know, dude. It was it's it's like Pornhub. Really you go too yeah. far on Pornhub, you're like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, this is this is an approach. Why is it in black and white? You're like, what's yeah. happening here? Yeah, no, it's fine. It's it's like, of, yeah, it's so old. It's so far back. Uh, it's like, you you Charlie Chaplin in there. There's a podcast that just came out called Better Offline that talked about this. Um, that I highly recommend you guys check out at some point. But also, the logo is a like a skull being crushed by wires that are then coming out of its mouth. It's metal as hell. Um, <laughs> There, I just actually hold on. Let me yeah. put it on the. I put in shitification the uh, definition in the yeah. comments because I think we all need that. That's fair. okay. Yeah. I mean, um, no, right? but uh, yeah, to to see that happening to the point where doodle searching has become so saturated with websites trying to game the algorithm, the yeah. SEO stuff. Yeah. Which we all have to do as part of social media. Um, to the point where, like, trying to get an answer for your shit is like you have to type what you want and then type Reddit afterward. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, like, <clears throat> that's that's my extreme frustration is like I've I have uh on a weekly basis I get people who message me and they're like, hey, I checked out your channel. Uh, all your stuff is really good. Like, this is really popular stuff, and you're doing it, but your SEO sucks. And I'm like, I don't. Okay. What do you want? They're like, I can fix it for you, but it's gonna cost X amount of dollars. I'm like, I don't Pass. care about you. Yeah. yeah, no thanks. That sounds like a scam. I'm like, that's, that's I'm just not. That's not a real thing. So, it's it, it's just weird that like at this point we're sitting in a situation where, you know, it, it's it's there's just so much garbage that you're like, all right, well then I'm just not gonna do that, right? Because like we have we canceled cable. Uh, probably a couple months ago and i'm like yeah because we just stopped using it the best part is they're like oh the machines you have don't work and we're like yeah we're aware that's why we're calling you to cancel everything they're like oh well we could set it up but you have to get our internet and we're like no we don't want your internet no. that's that's it. like the whole thing up here in canada was that uh rogers cable right which is the big cable provider uh ran the cable and bell canada who is the big telephone company ran telephone lines all over the country so they had a stranglehold for decades uh if not the entire uh, uh 20th century on canada as to those services but then they started to have to give up power now they're like oh you have to get our internet and we run everything through the internet they're like okay the problem is your internet number one sucks number two you've had issues and stuff is going to cancel and then last week what was it AT&T, Verizon, and who else? Where they're like, oh, everything just went down in the US. You're like, yeah. what do you mean everything went down? Like, that's not, how, how is that a thing, right? Like, was it T-Mobile was the third one, I think? Well, T-Mobile's owned by AT&T, so yeah. Oh, but... okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, 
every, everything's like an oligopoly anyway. Um, All right. Well, now we're sitting in a, in a thing where uh, if you there's a guy, I think he's like uh, it's called cancel this stream, cancel this product. I forget what it is. He's on TikTok and and everything else, but and he goes through and goes like, okay, so I went to the grocery store. And this is the grocery aisle of all the cereals. And I've categorized who owns what. And I've color coded it. And then you find out you're like, these three cereals are like mom and pop businesses that make this cereal. And it's shipped all over the country. They are actually decent for you. These 17 I don't even million. Think we have that in America. No, no, it's in America. That's what that's this guy's. Yeah. And he goes, but he goes, these other ones, he goes, basically are owned by two companies. And those two companies are owned by uh, either Black Rock uh, uh, Street, uh, something street. I forget what the thing is. And then Vanguard. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, those are. The- Pin right. that. We need to get our own cereal for hammer and cheese, by the way. Bro, <laughs> I would. So I used to love <coughs> eating cereal on a daily basis. So, like, when I was young, I would eat. A bowl of cereal before we go to bed, and I'm like, and it, oh, I just always love that. But I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, why okay. I like the, the cereal too. Is in the middle of the night, I don't like it for breakfast. No, yeah. for breakfast, I'm like, not at all. I'm like, no, for breakfast, so, it's so, bacon. Violent. What do you call it? Hammered in sea real <laughs> or sea real? <laughs> yeah, I mean that. It, I mean, I feel like it would have to be alcoholic cereal, which I it's, feel it's, like, yeah, is like whiskey pops thing. or something. You know, it's yeah. either that or you have a physical hammer on the box, and then it becomes like. Comrade cereal, like a communist yeah, cereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, okay. little marshmallows that are hammers. Like little <laughs> no, that was not a great idea. Mjolnir <laughs> should be our fucking slogan or our logo. Or yeah. the, 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 or, you know, we can't. It'll be, I don't think Mjolnir. we can use that, but something similar so you get the idea. I did make a Lego Mjolnir and it's like like on a stand. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure if we made a Mjolnir with like a cheese top, it would be hammered in cheese and it would it would work. It's just yeah, we should get like yeah, like a battle hammer. You know what you do? Get Mjolnir and then like have it cr- like into a big block of cheese and it's like, like explode. Right? There I mean, you go. That's yeah. kind of badass, actually. Yeah. Like, I don't, it might work. It might work. Um, but yeah, so Netflix where I remember it first starting as a streaming service. And Hulu had already been around for a couple of years, but it was always like, uh, oh, we just have like your Fox shows that you missed. Like, yeah. Here, here, here's the, you know, your Fox shows. I thought, I, did, I, I, I didn't hear of uh, Hulu until like 2016. No, it, I remember it being a thing where like, oh, Miss, Miss Family Guy last night, it's up here, that kind of thing. Um, and then Netflix. It showed up, and then it was just Netflix and Hulu. Yeah. And then Netflix was like, all right, we're doing, like, our first original show. We're like, okay, that should be interesting. And what was that, House of Cards? Yeah, House of Cards. House of Cards was great up until it wasn't. Mad Men and House of Cards. Why should I put that bitch off into the fucking subway? It just was not the same show anymore. (laughs) Which is, like, this first season, really. At at the (laughs) same, like, see, at the same time, you're kind of like, I do. I question if that's actually happening. You're like, I believe that's actually happening. I don't. A hundred percent. And like, <laughs> like when you see how things work, and you're saying, going, "Oh my god, this seems too accurate." You're like, oh, <laughs> oh god. Like, this is, uh, I feel well, I, Yeah, like, you feel oh, like god. you're gonna get whacked for watching it. Like, why are you showing me this? You're like, trying to I, make me a witness. <laughs> like, hilariously, like I remember being a waiter when I was like 19 and like, I enjoyed it. I was a shit waiter, but I'm great at just cracking jokes and people like that. Right. Mm-hmm. So like most often people would have their order correctly and, or they'd have to ask me for something again, but it was like, I was, I was like, cool. Sorry. I'm very slow and a little bit dumb. And I would go get it. It's fine. But like, I remember some of the staff, like, especially after watching the movie waiting, I remember other staff who would like, Oh, hi. And as soon as it turned the corner, they're like, motherfucker. And they would be so angry. And you're like, Oh. You know this is your job, right? Like you just stop working here, like, and if you, if this is causing you so much angst. Just, I mean, don't do this. Well, if that's the only option, or you don't have much there experience, or there wasn't OnlyFans back then. That's a good point. <laughs> um, hey, man. So, yeah, yeah it, it, it's just become like you, you're seeing like bundles now too. We're like, oh yep. yeah, Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN bundle. And but that's, that, like, that's even worse. Like, also, too, like, through because we don't have uh, HBO up here, right? Like, they yeah. for a while there was HBO Canada and it 
sucks. Yeah. Like it's the worst. Uh, HBO Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're just like no, and it would okay, always wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Now, give me like a HBO show, famous HBO show, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So yeah. just imagine like Canadian Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> hey, hey. Is that a dragon out there? And you're yeah. like, no, 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 absolutely not. So it was. Uh, but the thing is, Kalei like, will take over the entire country, yeah. eh? Like they would have killed. They would have killed Ned Stark over like a barrel of syrup. A hundred percent. And but that's yeah. See, this is the, the our sigil is a sap tree. <laughs> a, it, what? Is, hold on, hold on, you dumb motherfucker. Maple tree, like, sap what is tree, a sap tree? Uh, every no. tree has sap. You dirty. <laughs> Dirty Texas hick. Have you seen his sap? I didn't know that. And then, uh, and then Joffrey's like off with his head. He doesn't like Rushy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's me. I'm Joffrey. But the problem, oh, yeah, you're Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like, but that's like the worst part was you'd be like, oh, you got HBO Canada. Okay. Does it premiere everything at the same point? They're like, no, it's usually the day after. You're like, then what's the point of having that? Cause I could just, I'll pirate it and you guys can eat shit and die. Like, that's yeah, fine, exactly. Right? Like, those were great times when it's like, oh, it's on TV, but, or you could just pirate it. And you're like, oh, you're like, oh, but somebody might find out. It doesn't matter. For, for you people listening out there, for if you don't remember the glorious and dangerous days of LimeWire and Napster. Oh, um, <laughs> Bro. Before but iTunes was really a thing, that was the best way to get music because you you didn't really know it, uh, an album sucked until you bought it. So yeah. Yeah. you had people pirating it because you're like, I don't know if this is going to be good. Yeah. iTunes made that a little easier where you could buy it by the song, so you could yeah. get like part of an album. Yeah. But you could also uh, click uh, preview, too. Yeah, you could also preview part of the song, which was good. But that um, was also the time when a lot of artists stopped producing good albums and they would have like two songs that were good and a rest of the album that was dog shit. Right. So it's like, like I feel that the whole idea of pirating really took off because people were getting bamboos. Like there's a lot of times you would buy an album. You're like, Oh, I love that song. Sure. I'll buy the album. You buy the album. You're like, it's got one good song. You guys suck, right? And then okay. you're like, well, I, I think uh, we're going to be getting back to that pretty soon. Like, do you think not it, really as in us specifically, but people yeah. pirating because of yeah, you know yeah. we're having to pay for ads again, yeah. and That's, when you go and buy a movie on Xbox or PlayStation or whatever, you know, like you'll have it and then suddenly it won't be there, and they'll be like, yeah. oh, well, just because you purchased it doesn't mean you own it. Yeah. Go that, fuck yeah. yourself. <laughs> like that. Yeah. yeah. We're not fucking. TV, that's man. that's what I'm getting to. Piracy happens when uh, paying for something isn't convenient. Spotify yeah, is convenient, convenient enough to where people don't really pirate music as much because Spotify is easier. You just play the f- uh, yeah. flat rate and get on with your life. But Netflix and all them are starting to forget that the only reason we weren't pirating was you made it easy enough to get the show you want. Now, if you want to find a show, you got to be like, okay, who owns the rights to this now? And then you Google it, and you don't get the result you want anyway because Google sucks. Call back. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that's also true. But that's like realistically, I remember when you couldn't Google, uh, like you could Google the Pirate Bay, and then all of a sudden you couldn't Google the Pirate Bay, so you had to have it bookmarked or the Pirate Bay dot com. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, but that, that was the thing. Coast. Look it up. And, and also too, like you would go other places and be like. Oh, I clicked on the Pirate Bay, but this isn't the Pirate Bay. Like you definitely, there was all sorts of scams like that, and they were just trying to catch people. And you're just like, okay, do you remember people who got sued by it was I think it was Metallica? Which yeah, like you're still Napster, rich, specifically. yeah, you shit, you loser. Like that was Napster, and like I get what they were doing on like a philosophical, yeah, uh, level, but also your your Metallica. I think right. it would have worked that's better. Well, like... I think that's the problem is it came off as like, oh, you're just some rich asshole who's only worried about his money. But like, um, what's his name? The uh, Skeet Ulrich or whatever the fuck his name was. Uh, uh, the drummer. Uh, Lars Ulrich. Lars, Lars Ulrich. Ulrich. Yeah. Um, he, he legitimately to this day will tell you that like he was worried about everyone. It just seemed in like insincere at the time and i really do believe now that he wasn't out for his own money per se i mean he was but that wasn't his 
primary concern. Yeah, but Metallica is big enough that like they actually made money off of album sales. Yeah, and, like they get per album, whereas Kid Rock gets like his three million regardless or whatever bullshit. Like uh, whatever right. happens, and then uh, so much less money really, and then he plays like concerts and gets more money, but. Mm. So that's why, like, Metallica and Dr. Dre, a producer, too, would, like, sue versus, like, yeah, like, the the mids, like, Kid Rock and shit like that. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. There is, like, there is, I hmm. understand the whole thing, but even now, where you have so many, uh, uh, um, I guess, pi- uh, streaming services, like, do you remember when, um, who was it, uh, Scarlett Johansson sued, sued Disney because of uh her uh, uh movie the the black widow movie went directly to streaming services and that wasn't in her contract and you're like so technically she's not because there were certain markers like it hits certain views in the theater she yeah. was going to get extra pay and they're oh, like, yeah, well, it was, she was going to make a percentage of uh theater. the money oh, made in theaters but then they yeah. just put it on the because this was when during the pandemic they just put it right on HBO Max or whatever. Not, yeah. I'm sorry, Disney Plus. So yeah. then it fucked her out of a lot of money. Yeah, which I'm like, like money. That's see, that's the whole thing. You're going, but that's that's really at that level. You're going to go see her in Black Widow. You're not going to see Black Widow. And by the way, it has Scarlett Johansson, right? It's mm-hmm. and that's yeah, that's why you like, talk about Black or uh, Black yeah Black Widow like that. No one, you know? yeah. no one cared about Black Widow and uh, until she was hot. hot. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, it's sex sells, guys. As somebody who yeah. has, like, I have a ton of comics, I'll tell you right now. Yeah, smoking hot. I'm like, oh yeah, Black Widow, smoking hot. What are her powers? Being smoking hot. That's her power. Her. She, she can fight. Uh, she's hot yeah. while she does it. Yeah, I can rhyme <laughs> off a billion other superpowers that uh, other comic book characters characters have. What's her? I forgot. Uh, I watched Iron Man with my kid the other day. He's never seen it. You know, when I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, it blows my brain out because this movie's not that old. And he's just yeah. like, this is a really old movie. Yeah. And I, I know it kind of has to do with the new stuff. Can we watch this dad? I'm like, uh, yeah. Or, yeah. And then, well, okay, so she was in the second one. But either way, I forgot how fucking hot she was in that that movie, Iron Man yeah. 2. Oh, yeah. my God. I mean, granted, you know, it's probably just some pervy shit because she was like 25 mm-hmm. at the time. But, yeah. you know. And then, like. When when that movie first came out, it was like what two thousand nine, two thousand eight, like late two thousands. The first yeah. one, yeah, yeah. So my my dad grew up with Marvel comics. Like he had a big, he, to this day, has like a big stack of old ones in his garage. But Get he those. was like, "Holy Take shit, those. we have to go see this!" And yeah. I was like, "Iron Man." And he's like, "Just trust, me. come with yeah. me. Like, come yeah. with me." And it turned out to be great. And yeah. uh, you know, my dad having you know seen Robert Downey Jr. be that kind of robert downey jr he's like yeah they picked him and then he was like this is fantastic oh, i yeah. love this yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. he really was the perfect like oh, yeah. person to be it because like that's kind of iron man's it. background is being like some skeevy drug addict mm. who like turns his life around you know what i mean so which but that's the thing is iron man had uh, uh, there was a whole part of Iron Man's history in the comics where he was an alcoholic, and that's like right. Where in the second, it was the second one where he's he's uh, essentially slowly dying from palladium. Yeah. Like, that, it was that that same storyline instead of alcoholism that he was being poisoned by technically his own power source. Like that right. that was a real thing. You're going because thing is handling al- like a lot of comics handle things like racism, alcoholism, drug use. Uh, there, like North uh, uh, North Star was the first uh, uh, homosexual comic book character. He was a homosexual mutant. He was in Alpha Flight. Like those things do come up in comics, and people are like, "Oh, okay." And they try and like it's it's a, a softer way you read through it, and just, oh, yeah, people are different. Well, and also because like comic books for you know are, still are kind of niche, so you you have less yeah. of the public eye on them. Like I took a, a class on comic books in yeah. college. Um, and we, we had to read and analyze Watchmen, which oh, uh, that's yeah. a lot. That's a that's Watchmen is deep. deep. Well, but, but this is the thing: is there was a t- period in time when, uh, in comic books, you weren't allowed to have people fight, but they could fight aliens. The comics, too. right? So, yeah. and then, and then there was a whole thing. Like you got to remember, is Batman originally was an assassin with a gun, like. It, yeah. like there's and you're going yeah. Shirt. yeah bro like that that's you're like there are so many weird things where you're going like yeah th- like the the laws that were in play 
changed so much as to how storylines went. That's why you, you had like Superman's an alien. So technically, when he goes out, oh, he fought a giant robot. There's no human on human violence. You're like, so that's the thing. I like how my wife is like, I went to watch Black Widow for David Arbor. You're don't lie. You like Scarlet Witch too. Don't lie. David Arbor is a good actor, actually. I just like that he's very not absolutely crazy. He's like, I'm old. I don't care. Look at my belly. I'm, I'm like, guy, I'm yeah. yeah. You know, I'm like, okay. He's, that seems like a person who is is normal, at least to a degree. And right. I'm sure like very soon he's gonna be like, I have seven wives. You're like, I can't damn it. Okay. <laughs> when I'm I'm found out, like when I found out started finding out who he was, um, I think like season three of Stranger Things had already come out and I was and I just wrote Stranger Things off as some like corny horror show and I was like I don't want to watch that but I, when I found out who David Harbour was I, I was like okay I'll go back and rewatch this shit and oh my god Stranger Things is such a good ass show and he's it my favorite is. part of it if I'm honest no he's an like he's an awesome actor I also too fat uh, guy beating people up oh fat guy hey, hey. and all <laughs> I just love that he who's a fat guy and then uh uh Sean Austin, I'm like, who? I'm like, bro, he busted out and was like a hero. And I'm like, I love this. You <laughs> didn't, didn't have Rob Lowe going, I'll save everyone and then bang all the ladies. You're like, no, fuck you, Rob Lowe. You prick. Which, by the way, Rob Lowe hasn't aged in like 30 yeah. years. That's <laughs> that's an issue. I'm just throwing yeah. it out. There. Look, all, all I learned from this little like tirade by Dino is that Victoria has a type. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. all I learned. <laughs> people, people say I look like David Harbour. Actually, I met some girls that way. I could, I, I can kind of see it, yeah. honestly. Like um, you're, you, uh, you, well, you're because how tall is David Harbour? He's oh, I'm taller than him too. Oh, you're a lot taller than him. I think he's, he's uh, let's say, is there a height? No. I think he's six, David Harbour's pretty big dude. Like big. Yeah. Like he is. Is. Well, that's the thing is he's. So this is okay. So I was talking about this last night with these guys where we were talking about like because I've lost 240 pounds. It's the whole thing, but like there's. Like Billy Gardell, if you look him up right now, he was uh uh he lost a lot of weight recently and he looks like a skeleton right now. And he's like, I lost 150 pounds. And I'm like, wait a minute, because if you look at pictures when he was fat, he looked like how I looked fat. And I'm like, That's you lost a... 150 pounds, and then you're like, Oh, it turns out he's five ten. Well, no, he's 5'10. And I'm like, Oh, that's because he's a child. Are you kidding well, me? Well, but have you victim. noticed like anytime there's like a big, tall, burly dude in like who's like a super villain or whatever or just like a henchman or whatever and he's just this giant guy if you look up on that that actor's imdb he's like six foot tall like barely six foot tall yeah. uh, they, in, in hollywood they make i don't know if it's the camera or what if they really think that six footers are giants now nah, i feel like six three six four yeah okay but six foot that's like kind of just like normal tall you know what I mean? you're tall but you're not you're not like scary feel- you know what i mean Bro, like, the, the, like you know how hilarious it was. Like when we, when, when Kyle got me the job at the Halloween Village, it was like, bro, I, I, I have seldom walked into a place and not been the biggest guy. And now I'm like, oh, I was like third tallest. I was like, maybe <laughs> there was a couple guys who were taller than me. Like some of them were just lanky, and I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. I, I can sneeze and you'll fly away, right? But then there was like one guy who was six foot, and he was like. I'm so small here. I'm like, yeah, you have the biggest head. He's like, oh, so true. What the hell? Which was Chris. <laughs> I mean, oh God, he was fucking the uh, <laughs> yeah, but he was Charlie tiny. This, this doesn't happen to me a lot, but like meeting Dino at my wedding, I I felt positively dwarfed, and uh, <laughs> and like I am definitely average height for the time is oversimplified, might say. Um, <laughs> okay, the best part is like. I'm like, you're so little in real life. He's like, I'm six foot. I'm like, yeah, but look at me. And he's like, that's true. Cause I am, I am like a foot wider than Ooh. normal people. And, and, and like he walks, he's like, how? Oh, Cause like, I, I'm usually the tallest, if not the like broadest. Cause I have broad shoulders too. And <laughs> we, he's we both, gotta we gotta he's both more than me, you know? It's that's like, I, tell, I tell people, they laugh at me. They think I'm kidding, but I'm like, I have little man syndrome. And they're like, ha, 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 you're so big, though. I'm like, just wait until a bigger person comes around. I want, yeah, I, I want to fight him. This is my history. Knock him down. Like, take him down, down by the knees. Hold on. What did you say, Kyle? What do you think it would be like me meeting Atlas? Oh, God. You know, see, that's the thing is, your... Oh. Your dick is where Atlas's face is. Bro, <laughs> basically. Bro, you know how many times... This is... 
like so many times Kyle and I would be standing beside each other and people just like, oh, fuck no. And just turn around. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is like, I, I've done that. Where's like, the bean stock? Bro, it's, it's <laughs> the funniest shit because like we got called into a meeting and they're like, you guys make people feel small. And we're both like, yeah, that's <sighs> that's just science. I don't know what you want. They're like, you really, you know, we feel so little. I'm like, that's because you're little. That's not, <laughs> like, both of us are confused. And I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's, I know you guys are talking like emotionally, but I don't, I don't know. Oh my God. It's weird. Right. It's so, weird. But it's uh, funny because he's like, I usually have the broadest shoulders and I'm the, I'm the tallest. I'm like, dude, I'm taller and my shoulders are like a fucking yeah. billboard. It's that's like, what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm used to having one. Yeah. yeah, like being less in one category, not both yeah. at the same time on one guy, you know. Like, hilariously, I kind of want to go to a bar like the four of us and then throw Cole and Atlas in there and just to start shit. And then me and me, me and Kyle will walk in and it's like, oh, you guys want to do something? They're like, no, no, we don't. No, no it's not anymore. It's like, yeah. Oh, you you, you send us as like the, the like, scouting party. And... You two, like uh, Atlas and Cole are the I'm little guys in this group. That's I'm so, hilarious. I'm so used to it. <laughs> it, it is bro do you know how many times i've walked like i've had friends that are like all right, all right don't come in for five minutes i'm like all right and then they're like da, 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 da. i walk in and i'm like what's up and everyone's like nothing nothing is happening Absolutely. <laughs> i'm like man it's not fair that's that's the only thing i have on kyle too because kyle, kyle dwarfs like if i'm wearing if i wear my scorpions which have like a three inch platform uh mm -hmm. on the back like they're like it's like walking on a cloud then I'm like almost Kyle's height, but at the same time, wow. I just have broader shoulders just because you know I had yeah. to support 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, my body had to grow sideways. Okay, now I'm imagining you guys coming into a bar and then let you're like, <laughs> fee, fi, fo, fiend, oh. where located is your karaoke machine? <laughs> <laughs> you don't make fucking drink beers like this. Another, uh. oh, bro. I honestly, <laughs> so th this is okay, so. When I first moved into Victoria's uh, parents' house, right, and we started living together after we got married, like, I was like, um, can I have some water? And it was like, here's a mug. And I'm like, okay, can I have a glass of water? They're like, we don't, we're Asian. We don't have glasses. And I'm like, okay. So I'm going to go buy glasses. And I'm like, those are my glasses. This, and they're like, they're they're twice the size of everything in the in the kitchen. <laughs> where so I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm like, this is not normal. And then the funny thing is, like, I go over to Kyle's and we're both drinking out of, like, Half liter right. steins. I know that's drinking what I, water, and we're just like, yeah, this is to us is normal. I'm like, I have a collection of steins. That when I'm you like, said mug, I know you meant like a coffee mug, but I was thinking like where you hold your ale. You know, yeah, I have a water stein. It's exactly yeah. like in all honesty, that's the funny part. Is like, so Kyle, said, we're sitting there with steins, just drinking water, but and I was like, yeah, this, yeah, like, this is a normal portion. Appropriate size shit. It's <laughs> that is the one advantage, like. I even tell a joke where I'm like, the best part about knowing fat people is you go to their house and you'll always have decent toilet paper. And that's like a huge deal because I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly the glass. And I'm just like, yeah, that's okay. Like with your yeah. small hands, it looks like it. My head. for yeah. Kyle and I, we both eat it and we're drinking. And people are just like, yeah, that looks normal. And then we give it to them. And they're like, why is this a bucket? I don't understand. I have a picture of my dad and I ordered one of those uh, like in uh, Vegas, and but like in his hand, it looks a lot different than in my hand. How like, tall is your dad? Oh, he's like five something. I don't wow. know. Jesus, what the fuck happened? That's your amazing. Mom? I, he's like a he, seven footer. I, I don't know. It could be five ten. I don't even. Oh no, know. he's what definitely average. Are you adopted? No. We made in a lab. Maybe mm -hmm. they Maybe find you in a field. Know. Most people shoot from, don't shoot from the sky. Like, you shoot lasers in your eyes. Well, that... I, I gotta rewatch the Iron Giant again. That's uh, <laughs> it's. I mean, that is a great movie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're gonna find out that Kyle is like Superman in this. I swear to God, if they make a live action Iron Giant. Giant, I I will. I live near the studios. I will go on a rampage. <laughs> we're gonna oh. we gotta petition Kyle to be in it because he's an actor. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's, that's really fair. I will be I mean, just, uh... Let him go on the rampage. He's yeah, you got the voice for it too, bro. Uh, okay, okay, uh, yeah. No, no. Okay, you guys, giant. If Kyle or I go on a rampage, we get a shotgun right to the face. Okay, there's no like, look, we don't get tased. 
You're like, oh, that guy's on a rampage? Yeah, you have to kill him. You have to kill him. There's no other option, okay? We don't go on rampages. That is that is just science. Because if we do, it's not good. Bro, if I get tased, I'm playing the gay card real quick. He's <laughs> a gay guy. That's a hate crime. Bro, real all you got to do that, is... That, hey, that whole... Little... That whole everybody thinks I'm gay shit is going to... uh like is, <laughs> I'm going to take advantage. Bro, you know what you got to do is you just hold up the little hands and you go like, oh my God, my gay jeans. And just watch everyone go, what happened? You're like, ah! What kind of 100% I'm suing. Yeah, wait. Oh, absolutely. Does absolutely. Cole have pierced ears? I can't remember. No. Do you? No. I was going to say, get your ears pierced and then when you get oh. tased, take the left one out. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I mean that might work. That might work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like allergic to shit or something because like uh, I had uh, eyebrow piercing and a nose piercing, two different, and both of them rejected within weeks. I'm like, wow, just okay. like bad infection and everything. I'll be honest so I don't with know you, if I'm like allergic right. to some kind of metal or something. I think you're just allergic to being poor. It's okay. That's fine. It's, it's... <laughs> Isn't everybody a little bit? I think a little bit. There's... But let's be honest. Oh, he's allergic to being rich. That's why he has no money. <laughs> he has to keep it away. Stay away from it as best as you can. That's, Dude, why, I, that's why I spend so much time at the strip club this time of year. You work, you work, your job, you make more than I do. So. <laughs> that's also fair. Do I really? Well, well you uh, consistently. If, if I had my day the same four days every month, I'd be fine. But like that's not what I do. Yeah, yeah. Just become a doordasher in your free time. <laughs> It, who, bro, the best part is like every like 10 feet when you go downtown in Toronto, like there's another dispensary, even around my house. I'm like, there's, there is one, two, three, four dispensaries. And I'm like, why? And half of them are like, this is the cheapest weed you'll ever find. And I'm like, how about like just decent, just, uh, just decent, good weed for a decent price. Is that like, that was the best part? are drug addicts, bro. They don't bro. want to admit it, but they are. I have a, uh... I think well, you know, I have one store right there. It's it's nice. It's good. Yeah. Well, the employees all know me. It's... <laughs> I mean, like, that's a good thing. Now there are mushroom places. It, it, there's so many drugs available right now where you're like, I like the idea where you could just go into a store and be like, ah, I need some drugs because I'm uh, dealing with some of the like, That's cool. Here you go. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> have a good trip. <laughs> like, okay. here's, your, here's your receipt. Have a wonderful day. I'm like, oh, okay. This is a Funny you know how the, there's like that shitty trope of like someone going into a bar and is like, give me a beer, but they don't explain why. But yeah. it's that for weed. Yeah. <laughs> Go in, I need some puff puff stuff. And then <laughs> puff, puff stuff. He does stuff. not smoke weed. And and then they just hand you something and you're like, Great, thanks. See ya. Like me some blueberry yum yum. Like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean that's fair. Which is on. that's the other thing is like try it the, the fucking weed is so gay like the names like you have to go in there and try to order like a man and it's just so effeminate some of these names are just like you're trying to just all have the the the, yeah. the fruit snuffle up against, please. The snuffle up against, it's the snuffle up against <laughs> snuffle cuddle. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you give me a snuffle up against cuddle pre-rolled three of them don't talk don't talk much shit on snuffle up in this cuddle that thing is 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 amazing I mean, um, that's, it. That, that's the one thing. Like, every time I walk into a new dispensary, I'm like, hey, I need some pre roll joints because I have sausage fingers. And they're like, cool. I'm like, I'm looking for something that's going to get me high off my tits, but not make me cough like a little bitch because I am not one. And they're like, that's reasonable. Give us a second. They're like, how do you feel about edibles? I'm like, I welcome them as long as they're over 100 milligrams. They're like, we can do that. I'm like, all right. Let's, listen, it's not, it's, it's a, it's honestly, it's a math thing where I'm like, People are like, all you need is 10 milligrams. I'm like, maybe you there, short fry. Me, I'm it's like, unless I crack 100, I'm like, nope. That gives me fucking, like, panic attacks for, like, four hours. And you're, like, walking around my house, like, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. For four fucking hours, man. I can't do it. Five milligrams. You last thought you were taking 100? Last night, I was, like, there. Fuck. I don't like them. I don't, I don't, I, I have sworn off edibles. I'll never do another edible again. I've made the mistake every single time. We're having an edible party in May at Joey's Behest, where it's unlimited edible. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. All right, you're DD. That's fine. Let's get shit faced. Uh, Yeah, works. I was good. You know, I don't fucking uh, DUI anyway or whatever. I don't drive under the influence. Bro, the idea. 
Honestly, I'm gonna get Joey uh, shit face and then tell him to just drive us all home. <laughs> just see what happens. It's fine. I was thinking about it. Do it like, evidently. Like Cole does DoorDash. Does he do Uber? Do we have to pay for him to be our DD? <laughs> I mean, no, that's I feel like well, that's yeah. the other thing. I can't drive and do stuff anyway because if I get pulled over, I lose my job. You know. Uh, no, that's um, also which like, but that's the thing is too is it's not like you're a dork. Like you get home and you're like, all right, let's have some drinks, let's have some fun. And you're like, that's that's reasonable. You're home. That's that. Like that's a comfortable yeah, if I had somebody to do that. Drive, it would be different too. Yeah. No, absolutely. That's um, that, that's the problem. Is like we got so accustomed to being at home, right? Which isn't the it's not a bad thing, but the problem is then you're like, like actually one of the best jokes I've ever heard is uh from Kyle, who's like, Yeah, trying to meet people, but it's just my apartment and there's nobody else there. So he's just like, <laughs> and, and he's like, that's not working. I got to try something I different. Suffer, I suffer from that too, Kyle. I know. Yeah, I, 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 but before I met Katie, I'd always get jealous. Like, me too, but I have a wife here. Yeah. Is another thing. No. Before I met Katie, I'd always get jealous about like watching a movie or a TV show where, where some guy gets a crush on like his neighbor or the girl down the street. Or whatever, and it's like everyone I've ever lived near is all like old people, or, or <laughs> like it's ne it's never anybody your age. No, that's true. That's, um, that's, the, that's the other thing is I don't want to date anybody in my apartment because I don't want them to be like to feel like they can just come over whenever they want. I <laughs> I have like that's a good point. <laughs> I remember watching Seinfeld the first episode and Kramer just like walking into the apartment. I'm like, I would cut you like immediately. <laughs> you watch, yeah, you watch, dude, you I hate that. Place. If you walked in my place. Uh, like unannounced and just walked in before that door came, came like before you passed the doorway the door would have been pushed into your face and you would have been stuck there and i would just start punching you just like you're breaking and entering i'm sorry <laughs> the funny part is there's like a go ahead, go ahead. there's go ahead. like a flashback in seinfeld where he's like hey man what's mine is yours right yeah. and then kramer just takes that way too far yeah. uh -uh. Like, okay and you're like what the hell like yeah, yeah. No, that's that's, My, that's uh, definitely my baby mama's family is all like that. Um, so when I first moved up to Cleveland with her, like they all just would come over and just walk in the door. You know, it's the Midwest. We don't really lock our doors if we're home. You know, so they just like walk in. And I, I finally, after probably six months of this shit, like every, almost every day, I finally was like, bro, if you don't tell your family to start knocking or at least texting while they're on their way, I'm going to just be naked all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. And 100%. she put a stop to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, that's, hey, either either you stop, you start knocking or letting us know you're coming over or you're going to get start getting some dick pics in real life. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, your I, hey, good on you for not being like, don't have them come over ever again. You were like, they can come over. Just warn me, please. Yeah, you know? most of them were cool yeah. people. I mean, for yeah. the most part, until you yeah. know, other things happen. But like, I just, I don't. I'm, I'm southern. You know what I mean? If you come to my house, you can usually get a gun in your face. You know, I'm just not but used to that at all. You're coming into my home. This isn't your home. Why aren't you knocking? Like, what, the, what the fuck's wrong with you? Right. Like that's the same thing. Like, uh, in, in especially like in Appalachia or in Alaska, where people will leave their cars unlocked in the winter time just in case there's a bear so people can dive into their car and i'm like <laughs> here's the thing i'm not leaving my car out if there are bears so i can leave without the bear okay i'm not i'm not leaving it as a your helping hand mm -hmm. -uh. okay that is a you it's like if i showed up to my car and some stranger is in it and there's a bear attack you're like why do you have to get my car you piece of shit <laughs> Why are you walking around bear country without bear spray or a gun? I don't know. Yeah, fucking rifle, bro. You gonna use my car? Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's, yeah, absolutely not. I can't. Knowing how a lot of bears evolve opposable thumbs in the next hundred years, and like, I mean, there's that. Oh shit! That my kid was showing me that fucking dolphins are starting to grow thumbs over in uh, the Mediterranean. Wait, seriously? Yeah, they're starting to have a hooked fin, and yeah. they're and scientists are predicting that it's it's starting to become a thumb. And I'm like, uh, the apes are starting to use tools. They're in their stone age. Now dolphins are having yeah. thumbs. We're about to have some competition in this planet in the next few thousand bro. years, bro. I mean, that's how the that's how the uh, the Neanderthals died. Is the Homo sapiens killed them all? So, that's, well, uh, so there's a whole yeah, thing about uh, Neanderthals actually mating with Homo sapiens, and there is like a loss. Like there are some people who have Neanderthal genes. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's you can see it. <laughs> 
Any 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 one of us because we are all big headed giants. Just to be very it's clear, giant, look, it's most of you guys. Y'all <laughs> giant foreheads and giant shoulders. It's all three mm. of you guys. It's not listen, me. Listen, listen, listen. Just so you know, <laughs> I have a forehead, four fingers, forehead. You guys can suck it. Atlas, it, you're a little bit. You're close. a four and a half. You're. Four I was gonna half. say I'm a four and a half head. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle's got giant hands, so yeah. he's got a three head. Okay. Yeah. Alex has got a forehead and then two two index yeah, fingers. Right yeah, yeah. The the uh, the widow's peak is doing a lot of work there. I'm like, yeah. I'm, look, it's four. Yeah. It's still four. I'm fine. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. I'm you can't quite get the thumb in there, but uh. that's but that's see that's the the thing is like there's definitely a, you guys heard about the guy who was studying an octopus, right? So he fed the octopus like so his office was a, a professor. His office was across the hall from the aquarium where the octopus that he was. He was studying what would stay so he fed it shrimp the octopus took the one of the shrimp got out of its aquarium crossed the hallway threw the shrimp at his head onto his desk and he was like what the turned around and the octopus looked at him and then just walked away it was like and then he goes it was a bad shrimp it's like how dare you give me bad shrimp and threw it and you're going bro if octopi that's nasty as hell bro forget, no, yeah. if they if they organize Humans won't won't survive, bro. That's the op that's the opposite of enshittification. That's uh right. Honestly, that's like I'm all due for us. I think we're overdue to be extinct, quite frankly. We're it's, like we're like, really we've we kind of ruined it ourselves. Yourself. There's a there's a very uh strong group of people that like hey, we could do without. That's fine. Just people who are like, I'm an influencer. No, that's horrible. They say that uh they, they compare the US to the, the fall of Rome. Like we're we're an empire in and decline every day. It didn't yeah. last nearly as long though. Like no, you know, two hundred and fifty years old. Well, yeah. you're you're two forty seven right now. Yeah. So also, yeah, uh, normally a, an empire lasts two hundred fifty years. So yeah. is it really? Also, yeah. For some reason, I thought it was longer than that. And the reason that the the Roman Empire lasts for so long is there were different things like uh, the Republic to. The Empire with the whole Pax Romana thing to the Tetrarchy, where they split it in four, and then you have the Eastern and Western. It, it was never quite always one empire that just slowly got eaten yeah. over time. It, it just kept doing different things. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's why that, it lasted and, so long. And well, then then it, the it, British it Empire, wasn't that like a thousand years, damn near? No. Well, so there's, there's 1066 the to 1900. Hey, what's up, JV? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, so like 900 years. That's a long ass yeah. time, damn near. Well, you got to remember too, though, is like that's the 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 key component. And actually, Jimmy Carr was talking about this on Rogan, where he goes like, "I don't believe that the Roman Empire fell; it just became a church." Which you're like, that's yeah, fair. I saw that. And that's then he's fair. like, the 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 English Empire didn't end; it just became a banking system, right? So like, it which is very accurate. The problem is now yeah. is you have the American Empire. Yeah, but it's America. <laughs> America just becomes the fucking war machine. Just to... That's it's either uh, the war machine, or if it's like something else, it, joint. it's either that or like American culture, like pop culture. That's, no, well, no? I, like, but that's what it's been already. Yeah. It's more so the next step, and like, because realistically, pop culture has no power over anything, right? Whereas military definitely does. Like, kind of pop culture has influence, but not authority. Oh, right? okay. it's that yes, two... yes. Right oh, now we're in the Kardashian Empire era. <laughs> bro. Like, okay, that, that's that might be a good episode title. Yeah, the Kardashian I'm, Empire. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. The that's, only uh, we gotta do is we'll take all of their Kardashian we'll give them the forehead of a Kardashian from uh Star Trek. I think that would work. That, that no, the true. Kardashian foreheads are much worse. <laughs> Four like, and a half heads, one has like sure. a billboard up well, there. I don't, I don't I've remember. referred to the one of them as the Sasquatch Kardashian, and people yeah. get so angry. And I'm like, that's, "Yo, that's not on me. She's OJ's daughter. And what are you gonna do?" That's the one. I mean, with, that's the one with the forehead, is I believe. It's yeah. the and the face and the yeah. Oh, yeah. Every I great empire bad. has like a patriarch that dies, and then the child of the patriarch becomes the new leader and they do some skeevy shit and all the siblings are like just kind of just murder. like fucking on peasants and stuff you know yeah <laughs> there's a murder involved usually infidelity yeah so that fits perfect that's that's the the hard part right now is where like it's that idea of like someone will make make an empire but then it's like the next generation will 
barely maintain it and the generation after there just ruins it and you're like that's the been the hardest thing where like you have families like the rothschilds the whitney's and rockefellers and stuff that have had longevity longer than the normal three generations and you're like that's proven to be detrimental to society like having long-term wealth has uh, uh created such greater instability in the rest of yeah. the planet right? and so not understanding why for the fu- for the future generations they don't know how they got there or why they got there um photoshop so it's in dirt she doesn't quite look like scott's right maybe sasquatch is jason sasquatch is jason that's, that's also, kind of a, good, also a good episode <laughs> title our comment section is like throwing off bangers yeah. today that's uh yeah. They're, they're um, showing out. They're showing us up. Yeah. I mean, this is Sasquatch ad- adjacent as a podcast, and yeah. then, as well because, like, we all oh, there's the title. Yeah, we're Sasquatch. Cole, there's, there, there's the name for our new show. Yeah, Cole's new show. Sasquatch, Sasquatch adjacent. adjacent. Yeah, yeah. That's actually yeah. not bad. Not bad. Sasquatch adjacent. That, we're gonna have to start with that too, huh? Kind of. Maybe, okay. His now. Three- History is one giant conspiracy theory. So yeah, I, I'm I'm starting with like Mesopotamia and like early food and if we're talking gotcha. hey. okay, okay, because here's the thing: every society develops a sword, fermentation, and frying stuff because everybody mm-hmm. loves beer, donuts, and stabbing things. Right. So <laughs> it's it's yeah, it's a sharp implement used for uh, violence. Uh, fried fried dough of some sort and uh, beer boo- booze to calm yeah. the children. Yeah, well, <laughs> believe it they or not, beer was, beer was more discovered than uh, than invented. Yeah, you know? believe it or not, uh, smoking meats came from like the the cavemen because like it preserved the food longer. So that's 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 that's, yeah. that's oh. why it tastes so fucking good because it just brings us back to our like our roots. If I'm being honest with you, if, that's how I feel at least. So. Listen, we, like we core memory. <laughs> I was, I was at Kyle and we smoked like a, a, I think what was it, a, a beef round, and it was like it was a massive thing. It we it ended up I left it too long, and it was it was my bad, but it was still tasty. But at the same time, we we each ate like a pound and a half of meat, and the whole time we we're just like, <clears throat> and you're like, I yeah. you smoked something for too long. Like, how long did you smoke it for? No, I left it. To, I I left it too high of a temperature, and it was beef. So uh, it, it ended up being more like a medium well instead of uh, medium mm. rare. I did. It was. I did it. I should have dropped the temperature and left it longer, but it went too quick, and then it was just off. Like, but I got to do that again. I, I'm looking forward to the summertime just because I'm gonna start smoking more meats and stuff. It was a good. It was an enjoyable experience, right? But. I don't know. That's I, I like. There is a definite key component to, to the fact that every time that we've seen people be like, "Ah, we're going to change things and do it better," and you're like, "Wait, you you changed everything and gave us less information, and now it's costing the same." What the hell is going on? Right? It's very confusing. That's why we need a revolution. It's going to start right here. Very exciting. <laughs> God no, uh, not with us. Not yeah, with we're, us. Gonna lead, we're gonna oh. lead from our living rooms. You guys, y'all go up there yeah. and you know do the violence. We'll we'll talk about it. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> let us know, and we'll tell you what to do from the comfort of our homes. I mean, right. that's the most you know. Also, we're we're uh, we're four white guys with beards. I don't think that's very uh, uh, good for people being like hey, oh, hey, we hey, could, hey. We could it's white dudes with beards who are in charge yeah. what are you talking it's about your oh, reading the charge yeah that's absolutely they're the most <laughs> they're the most uh except reliable. for like Shea guevara but he had a beard at least yeah, i mean true. technically it's the fresh candle way yeah. yeah. it looks like Shea guevara and grayson have the same beard you're your brother it's not a my beard. brother <laughs> there's hair it's not a beard it's that's the one thing I've seen a lot of guys who have like facial hair and you're like, it's so sparse. And I'm like, hey, what's wrong with your face? And they're like, what? It's my beard. I'm like, it's not a beard. Don't call it a beard. It's definitely it's, not. Uh, and they're like, well, I'm Native American. I'm like, what, Apache? It's like the glass <laughs> at the top of a sand dune. It's not yeah. like. It's not. Yeah. Just calm down. Yeah. That's that's definitely one of those things. I, that's why I was like, uh, the guys I was with uh, last night, they all have a full head of hair. And one of them was like, yeah, you know, I'm growing my hair out. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. At least I can grow a beard. Go to hell. It has something <laughs> to do with, like, the, the, the demasculinization of men in general. And I'm not talking about, like, society-wise. Like, there's something going on where, like, as men, we're not being, like, that big brawny men as much anymore. Like, that's becoming very minute amount of men but remember traditionally from the ages of what 15 until 20 we would would have been taught how to fight wars 
Like right. that's really yeah. Happened. Like in, in every culture, that age group was you either learned a trade or you learned how to kill. Like those in were some cases both. Jobs. A lot of guys are both. And and that's the thing is now it's like, oh well, no, you, that's not a thing. And you're like, oh, okay, so what am I gonna do? You're like, oh, you're gonna learn how to read. And you're like, hi, <laughs> like a woman, and that's and then it just went to when it just what am I gonna read a cookbook? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, a dishwasher I, manual but look that's well and then, so i was talking about this i'm trying to write a, a thing about how i think that you can't be the ceo of a company unless you can beat up everybody else in the board of directors like that's okay. i mean there has to be because listen right now you're like my superpower is i'm rich you're like listen even batman was a chemist a scientist uh, a kung fu artist an a investigator a detective he was the greatest detective like you're like listen he had skills to be like oh yeah he should be the CEO of Wendell Enterprises because he can kill everyone. That I makes sense. Also, a rich. You're like, you can't. Well, my, I'm rich. You're like, no, you I get you, me. man. I, I wish we would bring back Teddy Roosevelt. Like, bro, that's <laughs> I, I keep saying that we, like, a hundred years ago, we, we, uh, we did a bunch of antitrust stuff and it split up all these companies mm -hmm. and then now they've all eaten each other again until, until we're back to the two or three thing. We yep. should, Every hundred years, they get a big clonk on the head and break them all up again. <laughs> so hilariously, like even in the, the, I know you guys aren't uh, very religious or anything, but in the Bible, it talks about like you could have slave, like you could sell yourself into slavery because like you had debts or whatever. And you're like, I need to start over. And you're like, that only lasted seven years. Then you're free again. Like that's, and that the, hilariously is on your credit bureau. If you do something bad, it still lasts seven years and then it gets wiped away. And you're like, so. Yeah. Like the idea was that, like, hey, I can't fend for myself. So you could go military service for seven years. You could like there's a lot of things you could do, but like, and then you're free. Whereas now they're like, oh no, 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 you're not ever free. And you're like, well, well, well hold on. That's a seven year period. You're like, is a like that's a fair exchange for whatever thing, right? But right. now okay. it's like, no, no, it has to be perpetually and forever. And you're like, oh, that's right. No, because remember, the idea of working from your when you're 20 ish until you're 65 that's not a good deal that's a shit deal right also take in consideration people who like get a felony in their youth like when they're 18 19 20 years old and depending on what it is you know um then they're stuck with they go to prison they did their time you know what i mean now they're just trying to get their life back in order and they're stuck with that for the rest of their lives yeah like what any apartment application any job application have yeah. you committed a felony blah 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 yeah it's um, fucking insane, dude. Somebody, somebody. I mean, if you're fucking forty and you got a felony, okay, you're an idiot. But, yeah, you know what you I mean? made a bad like, mistake. Yeah. yeah. In in your twenties, like, yeah. come on, y'all are holding that dude That's way it. too hard. Go listen to our episode from last week where we talked about your twenties with Caleb McDuff. That's uh, right. Yeah, it's a it's like it's one of those things where like you you like the idea that things should reset after a reasonable period of time isn't that bad. But right now, like you said, this is like, oh, we're back where we started, where you have three companies uh, that basically own the controlling interests of every other company. And you're like, oh. And housing, too. And now, well, that's their new venture. And you're going, oh, so that's a horrible idea. And I gotta love that the company that's buying up all the housing is called BlackRock. I'm like, you might as well put a skull as your logo. Like, <laughs> bro, if you yeah, Jolly I, Roger, yeah. yeah, like it's a skull and crossbones. Are we the bad guys? You're like, yeah. Yeah, Are we the bad guys? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Definitely, who's yeah. That? Who's their up? fucking CEO, Davy Jones? Yeah, it's Blackbeard. <laughs> if you want that example, it's Mitchell and Webb. Are we the baddies? It's it's them two wearing uh Nazi uh uniforms in like a trench, and he's like, Hey, um. Are we the bad guys? He's like, no, we're definitely. He goes, yeah, but their logo is an eagle, and ours is a skull. Are we bad? He's like, no, there's much worse things than than a skull. And he's like, a dead person. I don't think that because that doesn't make any sense. But that's that's definitely where we're at. That's for sure. Fine. So I guess uh, the the thing to be to to learn from this episode is that everything is. Just getting worse as more things get bought up. Every what is, day. What is the thing that's been in Shitify that you hate the most? Comment below. Please do. Although for the people who haven't seen this because the we don't do enough SEO, 
suck it. <laughs> I hate the algorithm. Um, where can they find all you guys? Okay. Everybody, uh, everybody. Yeah. Smoking glue underscore 22. Dion the Genetic Marvel, Atlas Novak. Atlas also has Nexus at Night. It's about a trading card game. If you don't like it, he completely understands. Totally yep. Also, too, I have started building Lego once again. Today, I was with Kyle and I built the start of uh, Sesame Street. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. it it's honestly so. Uh, the other day, I did Winnie the Pooh's uh, house and it's yeah. so fucking. It's number one, crazy detailed, insanely detailed really enjoyable but this like already if you look there are like posters on the inside of the house and then like there's graffiti like that is a sticker hold on if i could only do there we go nope yeah. so anyways it's uh cool stuff is happening so please check it out on all the channels and also cole's been monetized so a hammer and cheese is monetized on tuesdays check that out because we're cooking soon i'm also going to be cooking we are arranging that and then uh but you can buy him a drink which is yeah. always enjoyable. Yeah. And um, so we're doing jello shots this week. I got I got oh, a whole set of uh, shot glasses. So nice. Um, uh, and, so, oh, and then uh, for the show itself at Generation yeah. Dan. Yeah. yeah. Ask us a question. Yeah. Tell us what you want to talk about. Yeah. Realistically, uh, it's gonna probably change to Generation Dank eventually. So yeah. whatever. It's gonna be fun. That's all right. Let us know what you want us to talk about yeah. next. And we'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.